What's going on today, guys? It is June 1st, and we are finally into some Bermuda weather. It's been a very weird spring. As you can see, my yard's still trying to green up, but I'm gonna do it to it today to uh, get my Bermuda blast on. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, first off, I had overseeded this with breakout ryegrass. It, the spring was so weird and cool and rainy, it didn't want to transition out a bit. In fact, I had a lot of trouble spraying it out. It would keep coming back when the weather would change. I still got some patches and a lot of material in them. If you can see that from killing off the ryegrass and mulching these big heavy high uh, ryegrass crops I was growing. So I'm gonna put my dethatcher out on my walker first and uh, scrape some of this stuff up. I don't have my tines set super deep. They're just uh, skimming along the top, knocking, knocking some of this crust off. Not really a necessary 100% step, but if you got that little shell layer between the, uh, you know, on the top of the, on the surface of the soil, it's gonna make it harder for your water and your fertilizer and all to penetrate it to get to the soil. Okay, I scratched a lot of this stuff off the top. You don't really want to clean all of the clippings and organic matter out of it, but I just kind of scarred up that uh, top layer. All right, I'm gonna start this uh, Bermuda blast off in the Steve Willie Memorial Gardens on the zoysia plugs and uh, in my other little fenced in area on my Bermuda there. But what I've done is I have mixed up one ounce per gallon in the flow zone. So what that basically is a one ounce per thousand of the uh, uh, MFT and the FFF from Subvert MBK. So one ounce of each uh, per thousand. So that's going in the, going in the uh, Steve Willie Memorial Garden on the zoysia plugs. And I'll show you them. All right, here's my zoysia plugs I put in kind of late last year. Um, all these were harvested with a pro plugger and I, I put them back in with the pro plugger. And if you want uh, a chance to win a pro, pl pro plugger, it's a lot of peace go to uh, the A to Zoysia YouTube channel and he's got a contest over there to win a pro plugger. Anyway, I'm gonna hose these down with the flows on monsoon, monsoon power. Mm -hmm. And this is 419 in here. I think maybe there was a roundup accident right there, <laughs> but it'll, It'll be fine. Let's spray this back. We are bringing the thunder with the MFT and bringing full force with the FFF. These are going to be the stars of my Bermuda Green Up throwdown here. Let's talk about it. MFT is bringing the thunder with a bunch of micronutrients boron, iron, uh, manganese, magnesium, zinc, and of course, peptide power and it's a 404 and your nitrogen is going to come from the uh, protein hydrolase and methylene urea ultra slow release urea makes total sense in a liquid because it's going to hang around and give you that sustained feed the fff is a 1248 what's the fff got going for it we got iron manganese magnesium zinc and uh methylene urea and trizone urea plus peptide power. The MFT is gonna be a super green up. The FFF 
it's going to encourage a lot of uh, recovery, repair, growing in, and the peptides. You know, you're going to get the uh, the nitrogen out of them, plus the root promoting, uh, the root hair promoting peptide, just stress reduction, root production. That's where I set right here. This is going to be a bad application. What I've got percolating in the permagreen right there is a 32 ounce per acre rate of uh, MFT and a 32 ounce per acre rate of the FFF. And I'm going to put out about four pounds to the thousand of uh, Carbon X, the 2404. I'm going to throw this down. I'll be right back. All right, I got my Carbon X out. Got my MFT, my FFF. This Bermuda ought to be on fire in a week or two. While it was raining last week, I took advantage of that time and trimmed my shrubs since I can't get out and do anything else. Uh, my girls helped me, and I got a little footage of them putting out pine straw. But what I'm going to do now is uh, hit these with some uh, Atromic plant growth regulator at about two ounces a gallon to see if I can keep them um, shaped up because I don't have a lot of time to trim. And uh, yes, Steve Willie, if you see green stuff on my house, I've called a guy to come wash it. I'm waiting. All right, I told him to put on some old crappy shirts. <laughs> it helped me strip, spread pine straw. Show him your bad shirts, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work. Good work, girls. Thank you. We're gonna sit up here and wait for the grass to turn green out there. <laughs> Not really, but people are always asking me where I get the things that I make the applications with. In this case, you can get every bit of it online. Um, the uh, MFT and the FFF are available at uh, subvertmpk.com. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think you can even get those in gallon containers, so if you don't need a larger amount, you're good to go there. The uh, Carbon X, you know, if you need pallet quantities, that's always available at uh, at the uh, Carbon Earth Company right off the website, or I've got some here that you can you can pick up. Um, or if you just need bag quantities, uh, the uh, Yard Mastery or the Lawn Care Nut site's a great place to to check that out. Uh, also check out the uh, Pro Plugger at uh, the A to Zoysia channel, Paul Wade's A to Zoysia channel. He's giving away a Pro Plugger to enter his contest. Um, that's really about it. I'm, I'm excited about this application. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to see the results. It's either going to burn up and blow up or it's going to look awesome. We'll see. See you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>